How's it going, everyone? Liam Caddison here with Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2. This is episode 11 of Season 2, uh, because that's just knocking the, uh, the the mic, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, this is episode 11 of Season 2, uh, which is called Ted. And after this, we're halfway done with Buffy. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the second half does present um, uh, me with, because... Uh, I feel like season two has been superb so far. Uh, most of the episodes have been very enjoyable, especially the string of episodes that we've had recently. Um, and especially with the last episode, I felt like, because uh, I've always enjoyed this journey of Buffy, but I feel like um, this is becoming, uh, this is slowly but surely becoming one of my favorites. That, that's the vibe I was getting uh, from the last episode. Uh, as a few interesting directions took place, Drusilla's now stronger. Spike, and I can't blame him, is seemingly out for the count for like several hundred, hundred weeks or whatever. Um, not that exaggerated, but I can't, like I said, I can't blame him with how hard that toss was. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. So with that said, let's get into episode number 11 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Season 2, this is Ted. Let's go. I'm sorry. Uh, hello? I, I heard... Uh, I, I broke a wine glass. You're home early. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is my daughter, Buffy. Buffy, this is Ted. Hi. I get the demos for free. I don't see why I shouldn't give them to you for the same price. Any friend of Buffy's? <laughs> what? That's the sound she makes when she speaks us with geeker joy. Can I just say, this is the oh, finest cute. ever on God's green earth. What is your secret? Well, after you bake it, you fry it in herbs and olive oil, but you got to use a cast iron skillet. No room for this compromise This guy seems there. to be decent. Yeah, Something's going decent. on. I mean, really, don't you think? <laughs> this poor vampire is just like... Stop! I'm already dead! <laughs> Any others? Not for their sakes, I certainly hope not. <laughs> Send a message to Spike and Drusilla. Don't even try it tonight. You make me feel bad that I don't feel better. I don't want that responsibility. Sorry. Oh, shoot. I certainly don't mean to make um, dog eyes at you. I'm just... Worried. I know. He does have, he does have that care. That's the thing. Oh. I want this ship back on track. He's a guy in her life. Does it have to be Ted? Do you have somebody else in mind? There's a guy out there that would satisfy you. Exactly. My dad? Yeah. That's, okay, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, that that's exactly fine, the problem. Fine, I'll give He's Ted not your a dad. chance. I'll play mini golf and I'll smile and curtsy and be the Just plop it in the hole. Cheat to win. Cheat to win. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to tell you it is not a game. Um, it does okay, count, this is now starting to become concerning. Kind of in my house. I guess it's a good thing I'm not in your house. Do you want me to slap that smart ass mouth of yours? Oh shit. Who's up for dessert? I made chocolate chip cookies. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> that just slipped out. But I guess, I mean, it's not oh, exactly like you down the door He's when you're thinking of shit. Those... Honey, look, I wouldn't have anything to do with anybody if they didn't care about you. But he does. I don't understand why you can't see that. The wool's over her Threaten eyes. Me. That we kissed? Ugh. Look, I'm not going to tell. They're not going to know. Not I mean, you friends, just said it out loud, so... Someone's you bound to, to hear. Make out? God, is that all you ever think about? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not wrong here. Ted has a problem with me. Oh my god, I love this I'm relationship. Why? Totally different since he's around. It's gonna have some. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you for what we are about to receive. What a piece and we of ask shit. That you bless this house and help the people in it to be more productive, more considerate, and more honest. Amen. Amen. 
You know, if you're gonna oh, talk shit about her, just say it. That's my personal property. How dare you? I don't see how it's any different from you snooping around my office, do you? What exactly what? is a vampire slayer? Oh shit. I beg to differ, little lady. Everything you do is nothing but my business from now is on. Is he gonna use this as bribe to shape up or, or what? You'll slay me? <laughs> Oh, 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 Ted. 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 oh, shit. You killed him. Yikes. Oh. This okay. This is gonna be an interesting dynamic to take for me, Ron. Okay. He was a person, and I killed him. Yep. Say that. Why not? Everyone else is. And it's the truth. I mean, he it was, was a piece of shit. But... I'm the Slayer. I had no right to hit him like that. Look, Buffy, I don't know feel what like exactly, her aggression um, consumed her mind. You never heard it's like the Superman. Shouldn't there be different rules? For her? <laughs> sure, in a fascist society. Right. Why can't we have one of those? Buffy's for not God's going to jail. Cordelia. It's not fair. Whatever the authorities have planned for her, it can't be much worse than what she's doing to herself. She's taken a human life. The guilt, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to bear. It won't go away soon. I guess exactly. you should know, since you helped raise that demon that killed that guy that time. Yes. Do let's bring that up as often as possible. This is killing me. Worrying isn't going to solve any problems. They were drugged, weren't they? Please, Buffy, just go to your room. This is really... I don't know. Okay. I sound I sound really Wait, bad by saying this, but I'm really well, enjoying this twist. This, this is evidence. This is real evidence that Ted was some kind of a crook. Buffy's cleared. Willow, you're able the to best manipulate. human ever. I adore you. <laughs> well, that's the cookie stuff. An about. absolute mood. No, 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 please, please, let me just, let me get this out. Uh, I was so harsh the other day. I am so sorry. Did she have a cookie? I, mean, I know how badly you must feel about putting me in danger before. And... Imagine how I must feel now. <laughs> just feed him a cookie. Oh. But you, you did it. Oh, he's some kind of resurrection beast. That's right, little lady. You killed me. Do we have something to say about that? Are How? We sorry, Osman always bounces back. The cookies are shite. Oh, come on, Childs. Jenny. Jenny. I had to shut down for a while to get you off my back. You should have seen the intern's face when I got up off the table. Shut it was a hoot. Wait, what? Fun's over, though. Is he an, a robot? Say goodnight, big guy. Oh! Oh, no. Jenny! Don't worry about me and your mother. We're going to be very happy. I hope that you soon get developed into a Windows Vista laptop. The shade. Let's look around. So he is a bloody robot. Okay. I'll take the bag. It makes sense. What you got in the closet, Ted? Skeletons or skeleton of his real of the real Ted. Let's go. Well, I want to know what was in the closet. What's in there? It's for his four wives. Rest for a while. 
I think you might want to stop telling me what to do. I don't take orders from women. Oh, I'm not no. wired that way. That's the thing I was talking. That's so what I was sorry. talking about when I said it no, makes sense. No, you're just in shock. No, no, really. I, I, I think it went in too deep. Advantages of layers of tweed. Better than Kevlar. Because tweed's awesome. Oh, okay. Tweed right, is we have cool. To eat Some night, huh? <laughs> yeah, you really know how to woo a girl back, don't you? <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> Of course, this is going to be the event that brings them back together, because... Why not? You left me once, but I keep bringing you back. Husband and wife is forever. Forever. Wait, what? Let's go. Is he confusing... Get off me. ...her with her first wife? Oh, God. This house is mine. Yeah! No! Oh my goodness. How about a nice game of heart chasing? No! Nice guy, Nat. Just want to learn stuff. Like how to build your own serial killer? Well, it's so hard to rent one now. Or computer. Let's drop the subject. Absolutely. I plan to forget the whole thing and pick up right where we left off. You could be in Windows okay, 10 in 1998. Do I have to sound an air horn every time I walk into a room? I mean, what is it with grown-ups these days? <laughs> Hey, we don't need to worry about these two. Giles is awesome, Jenny's amazing, so we don't need to worry about these two. <laughs> Poor Buffy, though. So, yeah, he must have been, like, trying to find... Um, His algorithm must have been trying to, like... Uh, with the wife situation, it, uh, they almost... Um, connected some capacity... Um. And that's why Joyce and Ted had a thing, because Joyce was uh, the perfect match in his algorithm. But, oi. This is why this is why you don't date droids, people. Because, yeah, droidists. No, in all seriousness, um, bloody hell. Yeah, that was pretty solid for an episode, in my opinion. Um, I felt like the ending was a bit rushed, where they just glanced about, okay, so Ted was dying, uh, he made, like, it, it was like they did cram in all the bits and details about, um, uh, about Ted, Ted right at the end, but, uh, for the most part, and how, like, scary it was as well, uh, it was a pretty solid episode. Um, and you know what? It does make... Because I did... When we found out that Ted was actually a robot, um, it made sense with uh, his association to computers. Um, and he gave... The, like, he gave, like, these little breadcrumbs about uh, his true self. Like, I'm not wired that way. And there was someone who was like, saying nobody beats the machine so there were these little breadcrumbs that were leading to the revelation of um who ted truly was um and in my opinion i do love the robot reveal so much um but i think i would have loved it even further if um if ted was actually just an abusive uh, piece of shit of a human uh because we saw that reaction when buffy thought she actually killed a person not a monster not a vampire not a robot she killed a person at the end of the day and yes <clears throat> he was an abusive manipulative scumbag who deserved to get the uh, crap kicked out of him especially with how abusive he was um to buffy and then later on to um to joyce and af of course what he had with his four wives as um they were in the closet which joyce would have joined but um, he like it's not like the law states that Buffy can't kill vamp. Like she cannot kill humans, whereas um, she wouldn't get locked up for killing vampires and beasts and all of that. So um, yeah, but it's not just that though. <clears throat> we saw the ramifications of Buffy's actions. Um, and she had all of this pent up aggression inside of her, and she utilized that on um, on Ted. She didn't know at the time that um, Ted was a robot, and so she unleashed all of this aggression out on him. So I'm I'm hoping we do kind of st still see some ramifications because he um, like she's still like it. it 
just because she now knows that, oh, so he was a robot, it doesn't really excuse the fact that, um, well, I guess all my, it, like, it doesn't give you that excuse on saying, well, I guess, um, it's a good thing that I did unleash my aggression. Um, that could have still been a human at the end of the day, and it, and it does still draw some concern. So, yeah. But I just really loved seeing the, the reaction from, um, like, not just everyone at the school. Like, people were looking at her, and uh, there was all of this concern. And I really loved that um, that realization from Xander as well when um, he asked Buffy, so what was he? And... Um, he was thinking, oh, it's your typical monster of the week um, character. And then it was like, oh, shit. Like, this this turned real dark fast. Um, so I really, really um, appreciated, um, like, everyone looking at how, um, like, the acting uh, from Sarah was, like, it was just like that. There was that realization of, shit, what have I done? I've actually done really, really bad. And this is not this is not who um, I should be. Um, but also it would have been interesting to see um, the dynamic between Joyce and Buffy moving forward, especially after school hard where they seem to have made amends. Um, and uh, this, I think this was their first biggish episode since then. So um, whereas Buffy and Joyce were okay and all of that, um, Ted comes into the picture, it puts a bit of strain on Buffy, and um, when Ted dies the first time, um, it creates this rift, it creates this noticeable rift, so I think moving forward, if, if he did, if he was truly human, I think that would have been interesting to see their dynamic um, for future episodes, so yeah um and i do wonder what other consequences would follow for buffy if ted was actually a human but he's a robot so it's all water under the bridge and all of that so yeah um but um it was a really uh, uh it was a really really um great episode xander also mentioned uh, at the end when they were doing that fast um walk and talk to the end um that ted was dying so i think this robot was obviously a way to to attain um, immortality, so, um, and he must have had, like, I did talk about at the end, uh, when I just finished watching the episode, he must have had this algorithm, um, so, like, and I think he did mention about the fact that his first wife left him, so he must have made an algorithm based on the first wife, and it would have been like, oh, so these are potential matches for, for you, uh, and Joyce uh, registered as a potential match, so, yeah, it's still a bit gnarly, isn't it, when he's got, like, his four exes in the closet, so, yeah, but, um, it was a very scary episode as well, because, um, we had that real world, um, topic thrown into this episode, where you have that um, person who can be very abusive towards, um, ch well, not just towards your partner, but towards the children as well. Um, and I did like the aspect where Ted was, um, drugging the cookies so it can, um, sway people to, to, to fall for him. And, um, because Buffy couldn't trust him, she was, um, uh, not only the only one to say no to the cookies, but the only one with, um, some clarity, so it was very scary to see everyone just turn against Buffy unwillingly. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's scary because especially with Ted's situation uh, and how Buffy was not so enthusiastic and she felt a bit difficult about his presence. Um, this can happen in the real world. Uh, where, like you can't establish your comfort um, surrounding the new um, new love interest, you feel like an outsider. Um, and you have this aura of doubt at first. Um, and not just that, but like you do have that real world situation where some uh, people who are posing as, who can be potential step parents, it can apply to biological uh, parents as well. But um, 
it just adds to the doubt, doesn't it? Because like I said, some people do have that doubt when they uh, encounter, okay, well, this is your potential um, step. And they won't say it like that, but if this person is uh, potentially going to be your step parent, for example, you have this doubt. So it doesn't help matters when they are actually abusive. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's this, like, you have this shaky concern at first, and it's just really, um, worrying, because you can't speak up about this, you can't, especially since, going back to Angel's comment about, uh, which was really great, and I want to touch up upon, uh, his loneliness coming, but especially with Joyce, where she wants to move on, and she hoped, uh, and she f thinks she's finally won the jackpot, but Buffy has doubt, there's this, um concern that you can't speak to your parents about um okay well this person abused me because they won't believe you um which is why you had that feeling that when buffy did say that joyce wasn't budging and lo and behold uh the thing is though um when it comes to abuse as well the person inflicting the damage does so um like does so much work in terms of trying to sugarcoat their true self because that's how most abusers work they have this friendly front where everyone's so warming to them and then behind the scenes it's really ugly um and it and uh this it was very uncomfortable uh to watch um ted be uh, well just the ted and buffy scenes alone uh, because that's where the true self was coming out, and I think the acting choice was really uh, was really uh, appropriate because it was really well played. Because um, he did have this humbling presence, and then when he switched to his uh, to the true reality of um, of yeah his his true self, should I say, um, it was very scary. So. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable to watch those scenes with uh, just Buffy and Ted. But, um, you know, the worst thing is, uh, going back to my sugarcoating comment about how abusers uh, do work and how they sugarcoat their, uh, like, who they are, it's worse when it comes to Ted because he's a machine. So he's able to calculate um, all these parameters, all these possibilities, etc. Heck, I think... Um, the damage done to Buffy, because when they went to uh, question Buffy, there wasn't much um, bruising on Buffy. I'm not so sure if that's because she truly doesn't bruise easily, uh, or if that's because um, Ted wanted to make sure that um, Buffy sounded crazy, so he made sure that um, his attack on Buffy wasn't recognisable. But um, like I said, it's even worse when you've got... Uh, it, it's still it's still very terrifying when you've got like when you put in abuse into question and you've got like a robot boyfriend because um they are able to calculate like i think that's more dangerous if they've got all of these calculations in that are uh, going on in in their system so yeah it's uh, like abuse is very scary uh in the in in re in well, today's standards, because it still happens today, obviously. Uh, it's it's very scary, but it, I think it's uh, even scarier when you've got a machine going on, because they can make all of these calculations, and um, the um, instinct of trying to sugarcoat your true self uh, is even worse when it comes to a machine. So, yeah. But I did really like the fact that he did threaten to... Um, tell Joyce about oh I'll tell you you're the Slayer and it goes uh, it all goes back to when we when I had this sick hope of um because it because I don't know throughout that episode I was thinking is it wrong that I do like like this direction they're going with where there's going to be all of these consequences these ramifications this could be the big tipping point for Buffy um I was just thinking that throughout my head until the obvious reveal um but yeah like i said that was another aspect that that does relate to my um appreciation to the scene where ted was threatening to to tell joyce about everything about buffy um and then he dies uh, it just it just flows so well so um i think in a, in a what if universe that if um ted was human 
it would be very interesting to see the episodes following this. Like I said, the Joyce and Buffy dynamic would have changed drastically. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think Sarah did a really fantastic job in uh, showcasing that um, that numb feeling that she had when she returned to school and she thought, shit, I've done really, really, like, I've, I done fucked up this uh, this time because, uh, like I said, he's still a human at the end of the day. Even though we uh, are encouraging abusers like him to get the shit beaten out of them, um, he's still, he's no vampire, he's no demon. Um, so, yeah, he's just demon uh, me mentally. Uh, he's he's just demonic mentally. So, yeah, I think that's the best way to... to well, I, that's the thing, though. He might not be a demon. He might not be a vampire, but he's demonic in the mind, um, as as is the case with all abusers. They are demonic in the mind to um, not just think that this is an OK way to um, move, like this is an OK idea to present like this abuse, but to the person you love as well. It's really shitty. Um, it's a really shitty direction to go with. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really liked how Buffy, um, did have that guilt as well. Um, she, she had a, she had that guilt, which she, uh, which I really, really like. She knows that he's, he's still human at the end of the day. Um, and just because she's a slayer doesn't give her the right to kill any dick bag of a human. So yeah. Um, I was going to talk about as well, the fact that, there was a short bit with Angel and Buffy when Angel can understand why Joyce uh, is with Ted when Buffy had her doubts. And that's because he said one um, very amazing quote, which I do love so much, which uh, is loneliness is the scariest thing there is. And that's true. Like, I've been in that hellhole a few times and it's um, very powerful. And yet it's so defeating because it can shatter your world and it just kills us inside. So... I don't know that that quote does resonate so much, and I really uh, loved that um, short but sweet scene. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was really good to um, focus on how, like, on another real world topic because it's very like abuse is scary itself um, in the real world, and now you've got a machine. It's I, I, I would say that's even more scary because they've got these calculations going on in their head. And especially when people do try to sugarcoat their actions, um, a machine has a better chance because he's got all of these calculations going on. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really great that they glanced upon um, abuse and um, how parental figures can... Um, because like I said, it can still happen to your bio, uh, from your biological parents, but when it comes to that doubt um, that some people might have in terms of um, your parent da dating someone, um, it just stings really deep when um, that when behind the scenes they are all lovey lovey with your parents, and then they confront you like Ted did with Buffy, and yeah, so um, very scary stuff and very uncomfortable, but. Um, I thought, like I said, I think the acting uh, from Ted was very, um, was very well done. So, yeah. Um, there was also other bits as well. Jenny and Giles back on, yay, awesome. Um, because my heart did hurt. Um, when Jenny said she needed a bit of a break, but I'm glad that they are back on track now. Um, uh, disgusting Buffy even further at the end. But um, no, in all seriousness, I really loved. Um. It was very comical as well because whilst Jazz took up slain duty, um, Jenny was in that um, that unfortunate trope where you you are you are ready to fire, but uh, the two uh, the two people are just uh, creating a bit of a difficult space. Jenny shoots and she gets Giles. So yeah, um, but it was a really great it was really great to focus on them too as well and Cordelia and Xander as well. They had a small bit. Uh, continuing their fun relationship. Um, I am starting to grow a bit more to Cordelia, so... Yikes. This is the thing, though. When characters are first shown off to be complete arseholes, um, they have this this turn on you. They're like, they have this pull on you. They make sh sure that, uh, in some capacity, you will like them. So, um, 
I'm still waiting for that one character who's a complete art. I think uh, from my um, reactions, I'm waiting for that one character who isn't bad, is a complete asshole, um, and will still be an asshole. I'm still waiting for that. Um, and it seems like Cordelia is, um, it, like I said, she she's winning me over. She's just, I, I do love her and, and Xander's relationship so much, but... Um, yeah, but especially with um, her voicing her concern with uh, Buffy and the potential of her killing another human. Yeah, I really appreciated uh, that scene as well. So um, it was a really solid episode uh, of Buffy. So yeah, I'm really loving season two at the minute. It's just been a fantastically done season and I really um, did like this so much. And how scary it was, like it was... It was super scary but it was um a brilliant episode uh brilliant acting and uh yeah i just appreciate this so much so yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you check my video why is this shirt like so bloody big now that's how you know like it i know i'm deviating to uh, uh um I, like i was supposed to be closing out on the titles and i know i'm deviating but i'm just looking at that and it's like ah so yeah, uh, stop losing weight, Liam. But no, in all seriousness, um, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!